Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Nanite VR in 5.1. I know a couple of days ago I made one in 5.2, but we're going to go ahead and revert back. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now, this is uh, something that I created in like 30 minutes, and I'm not a freaking environment artist, so please uh, take it easy on me. Let's find my other. Here it is. So yeah, I'm using Quixel Megascan assets right now, and these assets are just getting more and more incredible these assets just look so freaking good uh, they're all nanites uh earlier somebody asked me if i can import i think they said three million triangles i think this one right here is four million triangles right here and i think i have three of them in this scene and as far as the scene goes instance triangle 75 million triangles here in the uh, rtx 4090 and I am running into an issue with the shadows whenever I move my head really fast, as you can see. Uh, I tried, you know, changing it to fall back 0%, double side geometry, race racing shadows, but I can't get rid of that flicker. And funny thing is I'm only seeing it in VR mode. I'm not seeing it in third person, first person, none of that. So I'm going to have to do some research to see if I can get rid of that. But other than that, this environment looks freaking incredible i mean let me know in the comments below what y'all think but i'm gonna pretty much make this my thumbnail right here probably what's wrong with my thumb oh it's not working so whatever i'll just kind of go like that um but yeah it, it just looks great this is by far the most photorealistic vr environment i've ever seen it's pretty darn good and obviously i'm gonna expand it this is small it's only a two by two but eventually I'm going to expand it and expand it to see how much we can get away with. I'll try to move my head slower this time. Now I'm really, really considering on buying the MetaQuest 2. Because I just found out that what I'm using right now is actually Vive Pro, the first gen. The MetaQuest 2 has a higher resolution and I can go wireless with it. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye out during Black Friday to see if I can snag one. I think that would be an upgrade. Even though it's crazy because I, I think I paid a lot more, almost three times, for this Vive Pro last year than the Quest Pro. I think the Quest 2 is, the Quest 2 I think is like $399 right now. We have come a long way since Duck Hunt. I remember that game when I was a kid. This is just incredible. And what's cool is these assets are just going to get better and better. And again, what's crazy about this is if you're using Unreal Engine, Quixel Mega Scans are free. It, it, it just doesn't even make sense. Because these are really high quality, high quality assets. And eventually one day, Hardware is going to keep up and catch up to this and we're going to be able to run this at higher resolution, higher frame rate. Maybe at 80, 90 one day. If I'm still alive, I'm going to buy it. Jeez. 
This is so cool. I'm going to try to make some cinematic experiences in VR. I don't know where I'm at, to be honest, so I'm putting my hand out. That's my green screen. What happened to my thumb, bro? Oh, there you go. Thumbs up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below if y'all want to see some more VR stuff for me. I'm trying to pretty much do everything I can to make some more content for y'all. I'm going to try to take a look at Nanite path tracing as well because that's now supported. It doesn't use the fallback mesh now. It uses the full-on geometry. But yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. How do you how do you do peace out? Okay, just thumbs up.